Hi friends, welcome to H2O. This channel is predominantly going to be focusing on health and health related issues. We are focusing a lot on vaccination, coronavirus, the pre-corona, post-corona, uh, what all problems can be there. And we have, we have done a lot of uh, videos on eye related tips and general health related tips as well. So if you are a person interested in these kind of uh, programs, you want to see these videos, please subscribe and press the bell button so that you will have notifications on all the future related videos which come to you. It might be of use to you. And we are going to be talking today about the frequently asked questions on vaccines. So one question is, what is a vaccine? Vaccines are nothing but an attenuated virus. So the COVID shield, for example, has got adenovirus, which looks uh, more like the coronavirus. So there is no chance that uh, a person being given a shot of vaccine like COVID shield can get coronavirus infection. So please don't be scared of that. So this is typically what a vaccine is. So when you inject a attenuated vaccine, what does attenuated mean? It will lose all its potency to infect. So it is a docile uh, virus which is injected again into the body so that it doesn't harm you. But when it, it gets exposed to the antibodies, the antibodies will uh, be generated and uh, the, the antibody generator will be supporting you in future against the infection. So that is what a vaccine is. So this, we have been using this vaccines for children for years and years together. So please don't be scared. Please go ahead and vaccinate. And what, which is the best vaccine? That's a, that is one of the very common questions asked between India, we have Covishield, we have Covaxin and Sputnik. So all three of them are above 80% efficacy. So please go ahead and vaccinate. All three of them are good. Um, it is told that uh, Sputnik is above 90%. So, but still I feel all the doctors, all of us have been given Covishield shots. It is good and it has really saved us from the second wave, I should say. Um, there's very rarely uh, a frontline worker like doctors have got infected in the second wave. With the amount of common public being in, affected, we, the frontline workers, thank God, have not gotten infected because of the vaccine, definitely, I should say. Because we have been handling very critical patients and the mutated virus. The Delta virus is a very strong mutant virus and uh, there is mutation is going to occur. The variants are going to be coming for a while. So please don't uh, panic. So what is the effect of a vaccine? Uh, so the effect of a vaccine would be uh, safeguarding us so that it prevents, it is not a one shot stop solution. So it's not that you are going to be completely prevented from getting the coronavirus infection. Yes, people can get infected, but but the uh, severity will be very less. There will be hardly anybody getting into the ICU and wanting to have high flow oxygen and uh, ventilator, ventilatory support, so on and so forth. Unless and until they have secondary comorbid conditions, this is not going to happen. So please vaccinate. Again and again, I keep telling you, what is herd immunity? Herd immunity is something which 75% um, of the general population, if, it is, uh, if they get immunity, either because of vaccination or because of infection, post-infection, then that's called herd immunity. So that will happen only if provided all of us get vaccinated, at least most of us. So that will break the chain. It's not now the second wave, if you see, if one person in the family gets about 80% of them get it. 
So that's how virulent this strain has become. The spikes have become more adhered, adherent. So please watch out. Put on the mask, have a safe distance and go out only if it is absolutely necessary. Already infected patients, should they vaccinate? Yes, they need to get vaccinated but they can they should get vaccinated after they have taken the inflammatory marker test or after two to three months time. Between the first and second dose of um, the vaccine, if a person has got uh, coronavirus infection, what when do when can he take the second dose? That is the question. So the same answer after the coronavirus infection has settled down. Maybe after two months, two to three months time, you can take the shot again. So, should I isolate myself after vaccination? Absolutely no. It's not necessary at all because after vaccination, you are not going to be spreading the infection. There's no infection. And, sir, but I have got fever and I've got body ache. Uh, I'm scared that I might uh, infect others. No, don't panic. It is just an antigen antibody reaction normally which comes for some people 50 to 60 percent of them so you it will subside in a day or two so don't bother you can go and mingle with people but wear a mask so what are the inclusion criteria for vaccination that's a very common question asked so um, a patient with the post heart attack post angiogram post uh, angioplasty, um, allergic patients, then uh, patients on certain immunosuppressive drugs. Uh, the, here, the ones, all the questions which we have asked before, all of them can vaccinate. There's no problem. Um, people who are on immunosuppressive drugs, either for cancer, you better consult your uh, physician before injecting. Uh, it depends on your uh, immunity titer, how much it is. Based on that, yes, you can go ahead with vaccination. Um, and uh, which is the exclusion criteria? Is there somebody that we cannot or should not vaccinate? Yes. The people who have anaphylactic reaction. Anaphylactic reaction means allergic reaction which is of a very severe stage. So, they are not expected to uh, take this vaccine because the allergy can come and it can become worse. Can lactating mothers vaccinate? Yes, they can. Can pregnant women do? Studies have not shown as yet, but uh, not in the uh, last trimester, the last few weeks. I would suggest earlier on with your gynecologist's uh, consultation, you can go ahead and vaccinate. Uh, hysterectomy patients, can they do during periods, can we vaccinate? Yes, yes, it can be done. There is now no correlation. So, is antibody tests uh, an important thing? Uh, after seeing that, can we vaccinate? No. And uh, is it necessary to do an antibody test? No. Because not uh, um, antibody titers are not shown because it doesn't pick up. So, there's no point taking the antibody test. So, um, when is the booster dose? Uh, when are we going to use the booster dose? Booster dose has not been specified yet, yet in India, but definitely it would be necessary maybe after 18 months of the first dose um, or 18 to 24 months. Um, and uh, can uh, children be vaccinated? No, there are no studies now. Studies are going on. So, um, in India, above 18 years of age, yes. And below 18 for now, no. I hope you have got the answer uh, to all the questions which we have asked. So, any other questions you have, please uh, put it in the uh, comments box and we will definitely be glad to answer you. Um, so, keep watching this channel, subscribe this channel and press the bell button so that you get more videos and the videos which we have posted earlier as well. 
God bless you and have a nice day. Dr. Sashi Kumar from Sashi Eye Care. Thank you.